everyone. It's Kim from Affordably Crafty. Um, today I have a Michaels haul. Um, I posted the walkthrough that I filmed um, earlier and I mainly went there because I had heard through the interwebs that there was yarn clearance. Um, so I went to go check it out because only recently have the craft stores reopened in my area so I figured there would be copious amounts of clearance. Um, now there wasn't as much clearance as I found at Hobby Lobby, um, which I posted a walkthrough and a quite sizable haul from Hobby Lobby, all yarny stuff. Um, so I also want to say welcome to my new subscribers and people that have joined me in the past month. Um, it's awesome to have you guys. I hope you're enjoying this content. And, you know, my channel is all about stretching your craft dollar through different tips and tricks and learning to be affordably crafty. Um, I do a lot of different dabbling in the craft universe. So I do dyeing of yarn and um, fabric. I do hand sewing. I do crocheting. I do DIYs. I do hauls, walkthroughs, product reviews. Um, vintage crochet. So that is what I've been into lately. Um, so yeah, let's start this haul. Um, so I went in there looking at the clearance yarn. I only grabbed a couple of clearance yarns. So I grabbed some of this Super Saver Chunky in soft white. That This is just totally blowing out the camera. Um, so this is a bulky five. 100% acrylic. Um, I had been looking to get some white or off-white acrylic yarn because I want to try the, um, oh, how much was this? Sorry. This was on clearance for $197 each, which that's a pretty good price. I was happy with that. Um, and in here is 173 yards. 141 grams. So they only had like a 20% off coupon off a regular price item at Michael's this week. So I initially went in thinking I was going to get like a Karen one pounder or a Lion brand lots, what is it? Lots of love, pound of love or whatever those are. Um, but not for 20% off cause they weren't on sale. Um, so I grabbed, they had three of these. So I grabbed those, um, cause I was looking to try the Rit Dye More. Um, which is one of the only things you can dye acrylic with. So, went over to the other clearance section that wasn't near the yarn, and lo and behold, hi, they had a Rit Dye More Synthetic for $1.47. And then they also had this regular Rit Charcoal Gray. So this usually is like $5 and change at most craft stores. So I was super excited about that. And I grabbed, they only had three of these. So I grabbed those and I grabbed four of these because I figured charcoal gray is a pretty like basic color. It goes with a lot of other stuff. Um, but I was most excited about this. But when I went to go ring out, I realized that it was ringing at like almost four bucks. And I'm like, what's up with that? Yeah, it rang up at like three ninety nine, and that's not right. But you know, they immediately fixed it, so that was great. Kudos to Michaels for the good customer service. So I grabbed those, and then I grabbed something I haven't seen before, which I want to try. And so I got some edible coloring spritz. I don't know. It says it has. Uh, this one is green and has yellow number five and blue number one. So that's the important thing if you're going to get stuff to dye like wool and natural fibers with. It has to have the food dyes with the numbers after it. Um, I did a Dollar Tree walkthrough, um, which I went over to the drink mix section and I pointed out that the root beer drink mix has caramel color in it and that is not going to dye anything. It's going to wash right out. You have to have the number on the back and the color in front of it. So this is, does this have a color? Oh, it just says green. So this is green. It's a two ounce bottle, but I feel like that's gonna go pretty far. And it was like pretty much half off. So, try that. 
And then I also grabbed one in red. Because, hey, happy holidays, right? And then I grabbed a black to see if that's going to break. But those are the only three they had. And I've never seen that product before, so that was pretty interesting. Then I, they only had one of these on clearance. So I snagged this um, Reop, which I haven't tried before. Now this skein is tiny. It's not very big. Um, but this is, um, what does it say? Reup by Lion Brand. And it's supposed to have, use less water and like be better for the planet. It has a recycled band, um, machine washable and dryable. It's 114 yards, 2.5 ounces or 70 grams. Made in Turkey. The four size, the white. So I grabbed this, obviously for dyeing. Um, it was half off, so and I also wanted to try this. I haven't used it before. And then the spring clearance, um, they had these really pretty um, twine things, which only ended up being $1.20. Um, so I got one in this pink color. It's like a baby pink. There is 120 feet of it. And then I also got one in gray. So I have plans to maybe add this to my um, crochet twine bag that I might be making, um, which was from one of my vintage crochet books. So I have to look at the footage, yardage, footage. Ooh, the yardage that you need for that. So in the video I did go through and it scanned through all of the clearance that's at um, Michael's right now, but I just wasn't too happy. A lot of the stuff wasn't even half off yet. Um, it's only so-so right now. Maybe it'll get better in a couple weeks. But like I said, again, Michael's just reopened in my area. So that's pretty much my Michael's haul. I mean, obviously... A lot smaller than my Hobby Lobby, but Hobby Lobby was like, ooh, fiber goodness. Um, so yeah, so if you like, you know, stretching your craft dollar and being affordably crafty and learning different tips and tricks to do so, um, please like, subscribe, um, share this video if you're so inclined. And this was not um, sponsored by Michaels. I paid for all this myself. Um, so let me know in the comments down below if you have used this Sugar, sweet Sugar Bell um, edible coloring spritz before and let me know how, how it came out. And if you have used this dye more synthetic to dye acrylic, um, let me know how that ended up because this is like one of the only things that will dye acrylic and acrylic is a lot cheaper than wool. <laughs> That's for sure. Yeah, because this one says it'll dye polyester, nylon, and acrylic. Mm. Polyester cotton blends, acrylic, acetate, nylon, and polyester. Where this regular one will dye... Nope, that's in Spanish. Regular red will dye cotton, linen, rayon, silk, wool, and nylon. Hmm. Interesting. I know it would dye rayon. So that's interesting. Hmm. Okay, so that is my Michaels haul. Um, let me know in the comments down below if you've had any luck with the yarn clearance at Michaels as of late or any of the other clearance. Um, that's pretty much it. I also stopped by today a um, Joann's. That wasn't very good. It was like I went in there because the coupon was 20% off of yarn clearance and they had like that heat wave stuff that like heats up in the sun for like not a good price off and then they had some loop thread and like one other thing that was not a pain so oops just knocked something over um so that was bust and then their yarn department was like such a mess and then the other reason i went in there was to look at the um 
crochet books that were 30% off, but that was like wiped out. There was barely anything there. It was like a whole blank wall. Um, yep, so Joanne's was a bust. Pretty much. And that's pretty much all I did today. So tomorrow I might be going to the other local Hobby Lobby. Um, there's also another Michaels right near it um, to see if there's anything else that they have for the fiber yummy stuff that I didn't grab. And I'm going to be going to the other Michaels to look for specifically more of this re-up stuff and then to see if any more of this dye stuff is there. Um, so that's pretty much my haul. So again, thank you to my new subscribers and I hope you guys have a great day. Um, like, subscribe, share if you're so inclined. See you later.